In this lecture, I'm going to start new topic of the computer aided process synthesis. So let's start. Chapter name is energy integrated distillation process and topic is heat pump and heat engine. So to study this topic, you should know second law of thermodynamics. So according to second law of thermodynamics, heat always flow from the higher temperature to the lower temperature. So you can see on the screen now, now we will study heat pump. So heat pump is a device that extract heat from one place and transfer to the another place by using mechanical energy. What is meaning of this? I told you according to second law of thermodynamics, heat always flow from the higher temperature to the lower temperature. But if you want to flow heat from the lower temperature to the higher temperature, you will use here heat pump. So you can use here heat pump and by using heat pump, you can extract energy from the one source and you can transfer that energy to the another source by using heat pump. That is nothing but by using mechanical energy. So you can see on the screen, best example for the heat pump is air conditioner. Okay. After that, in modern time, the heat pump is an essential part of the heating and cooling system. I will explain this concept in next slide as well. We will take one example by using operator and condenser where you, you will get clear idea about this heat pump and heat engine as well. So you can see and heat pump, this is nothing but work consuming device because here we are extracting heat from the lower temperature and transferring to the higher temperature. That's why it is a work consuming. But on the other hand, heat engine is the work producing device. I will explain this heat engine in detail in next slide. So you can see here, before that we will see figure for the heat pump and heat engine. You have studied this figure in thermodynamics as well. So you can see on left hand side, there is the heat engine and on right hand side, there is the refrigerator or heat pump. I told you according to second law of thermodynamics, heat flow from the higher temperature to the lower temperature. So you can see, just observe the heat engine where heat flowing from the higher temperature to the lower temperature. Means higher temperature is nothing but T2 and heat flowing from the T2 to T1 and it producing work. That's why I told you that heat engine is work producing device and heat pump is nothing but work consuming device. So you can see here power cycle is nothing but that is heat flowing from the higher temperature to the lower temperature and reverse cycle that is nothing but heat pump or refrigerator where it consume work to extract heat from the lower temperature and to provide that heat to the higher temperature. That's why this is known as the work consuming device. So this is the figure for heat pump and heat engine. This figure and this concept can be asked in your exam for 3 to 5 marks. So you can see. Now I will explain you this figure for the heat pump. So you can see here, this figure consists of the operator, compressor and condenser. So what is the function of this figure? You can see here we are extracting heat from the lower temperature and transferring to the higher temperature. So we are going to study here heat pump in detail now. So stage one, you can see here at the beginning of the cycle, the refrigerant such as Freon, okay, we are using this Freon in our home refrigerator as well. So at the beginning of the cycle, the refrigerant that is nothing but Freon is in the liquid form. Now we will see function of this figure. So you can see this liquid refrigerant is very cold. Initially, whenever we are using pure refrigerant that is in the form of the cold form. Okay. So now you can see here. So you can see in this figure that blue part is nothing but your operator and that orange part is nothing but your condenser. So whenever that refrigerant is enters the operator coil, you can see here what happens to that refrigerant now. After the refrigerant leaves the indoor operator coil, it has absorbed heat and becomes gas. So you can just observe this figure. Whenever the refrigerant leaves the indoor, indoor means indoor of the operator coil. Whenever that refrigerant leaves the indoor of the operator coil, that absorbs the heat and becomes the gas. Initially, our refrigerant in the liquid form, but whenever it enters the operator and leave from the operator, that leaving in the form of the gas means that is that freon is heating inside of the operator. So you can see here. So whenever the this refrigerant enters the compressor, next stage it enters the compressor. Whenever this refrigerant enters the compressor, it comprises to the gas. Means whenever it is comprises that gas, temperature of that gas is increases. Whenever we are increasing the pressure, temperature of that gas is increases. So this process will increase its temperature. So the refrigerant will leave the compressor in the form of the hot gas. Initially, our refrigerant in the form of the liquid, 
whenever that liquid transfer to the operator after that that liquid is heating inside the operator and whenever that liquid leaves the operator it leaves in the form of the gas and that gas again transfer to the compressor where that gas compressed okay to the higher pressure it means temperature of that in increases and whenever that gas leaves the compressor that leaves in the form of the hot gas so you can see here next now stage 3 so stage 3 means you can see just figure this figure stage 3 means now this gas leaving this compressor and entering to the condenser so what happen in condenser now we are going to see here now you can see here stage 3 where the refrigerant next moves to the condenser coil okay that is a, means we are kept that condenser outside of the house so you can see here because the temperature outside is lower than the temperature of the hot gas what we are going to do in condenser we know that function of the condenser is nothing but we are extracting the heat from the hot gas we have seen this concept in distillation column as well where reboiler is there at the bottom side and condenser is there at the top side so reboiler is providing heat and condenser removing or extracting heat so here here same thing is happening whatever the condenser we are kept outside of the house means that is nothing but we are removing the heat from the hot gas to the surrounding because the temperature outside is lower than the temperature of the hot gas the heat is a transfer or rejected from the refrigerant to the coil or outside air why we are rejecting to the air because temperature of the air is lower as compared to the hot gas you can see here stage number four the refrigerant leaves the outdoor condenser coil as a warm liquid this is nothing but regeneration of your refrigerant before that you should know whenever we are using refrigerant first of all that refrigerant in the very cold form okay and liquid form and that transfer to the operator okay after that whenever that refrigerant leaves the operator that leaves in the form of the gas after that that gas transfer to the compressor where it compressed to the higher pressure means we are increasing the temperature and whenever that gas leaves the compressor that leaves in the form of the hot gas now after that hot gas is transferred to the condenser where we are extracting last stage of this pump we are extracting heat from the gas to the lower temperature surrounding okay so we are you can see here this is nothing but fourth number of stage the refrigerant leaves the outdoor condenser coil as a warm liquid after that now we want to regenerate that liquid means we can use reuse that liquid again in the form of the refrigerant you can see here now we need to make that warm liquid refrigerant cold okay means we want to extract that heat from the warm liquid and we want to make that fluid in the cold form again so so that it can absorb more heat means here we want to remove the heat from the warm liquid and it, we are transferring that liquid in the form of the, again cold fluid that is nothing but a refrigerant so that can be used again in the operator section so you can see here so what we have done here first of all we have transferred that refrigerant cold refrigerant to the operator after that we have transferred to the compressor after that we have transferred as a hot gas to the condenser after that we are regenerating the refrigerant in the cold form and we are reusing that refrigerant again to absorb more heat so this is the repetitive cycle happens in this heat pump cycle now we will see coefficient of the performance so for coefficient of performance this is the formula you can see you have studied this formula in thermodynamics as well so coefficient of the performance for the heat pump is nothing but desired output divided by the required input so you can see this can be expressed in this form and based on this formula question can be asked in your gate exam for one mark or two mark everything is given you have to just find out the coefficient of the performance for the heat pump so this is the formula where qh divided by the qh minus ql okay now we will see heat engine so heat engine is the opposite to the heat pump heat engine means here heat is flowing from the higher temperature to the lower temperature and this heat engine is work producing device but heat pump is a work consuming device because in heat pump we are absorbing heat from the lower temperature to the higher temperature and in heat engine we are transferring heat according to second law of thermodynamics that from higher temperature to the lower temperature this is the figure you can see this is the figure for that and i told you what is the meaning of heat engine where we are absorbing heat in, that is nothing but q and it is 
we are using that heat to produce work that is nothing but W and you can see this figure again on the left hand side that is the heat engine and on the right hand side that is the heat pump and heat pump energy transfer from the lower temperature to the higher temperature and it work consuming device and other hand side heat engine where heat transfer from the higher temperature to the lower temperature and this is the work producing device you can see energy is transferred from the source at a high temperature I told you in heat engine energy is transferred from the high temperature at that is nothing but QH means heat is at high temperature is nothing but QH and work producing device means work producing by the engine is nothing but WENG means work producing by the heat engine and this can be denoted by this energy is exp uh, expelled to the source at the lower temperature means I told you that heat flowing from the QH to the QC means heat expelled transfer to the QC at the lower temperature and this is the thermal efficiency based on this numerical can be asked for one mark or two mark in your gate exam as well thermal efficiency is given by W divided by the QH W is nothing but work produced by the heat engine and QH is nothing but higher temperature of the heat engine okay so efficiency that is nothing but given by the W divided by QH and I can say heat engine is a hundred percent efficient if QC is equal to zero I'm repeating I can say the heat engine is a hundred percent efficient or heat efficiency value means thermal efficiency value is equal to one I can say whenever there is the QC means heat at the lower temperature is equal to zero this is the means this is nothing but QC is equal to zero is nothing but no energy expelled to the cold reservoir hundred percent efficient engine it means that QC is equal to zero means no energy expelled to the cold reservoir now we will see some examples or applications of the heat pump and heat engine first of all you can see heat pumps are being used in industry for the heating purpose of the various fluid and it is also being used as the integral part of the processes and second one this can be used for the process heating where we are using heat pump to extract the heat from the process fluid means we can provide here internal energy internal heat to the streams that's why process heating can be done by the heat pump after that heat recovery system I told you heat pump is no, nothing but we are recovering the heat from the higher temperature to higher temperature devices means we are extracting heat from the higher temperature and we are providing that to the surrounding or heat pump can be used to extract or extract heat from the lower temperature to the higher temperature means if you want to act in the opposite to the second law of thermodynamics heat pump can be used so heat pump is used in the recover processes that heat from the various reaction means if you want to recover the heat or extract heat from the reactions you can use this heat pump as well means before the reaction also you can use heat pump and after that reaction means if you want to expel heat or if you want to remove extract the heat from the process or the reaction you can use their heat pump as well in both the cases you can use heat pump after that you can see here our daily examples means daily examples of the heat engine that is nothing but steam engine and internal combustion engine so what we have seen in this lecture I told you related to the second law of thermodynamics after that we have discussed in detail related to the heat pump and heat engine so in heat engine it is flowing from the higher temperature to the lower temperature means according to second law of thermodynamics heat engine is acting but opposite to that heat pump is acting where we are transferring heat from the lower temperature to the higher temperature so this is all about this lecture we'll see next topic in the next lecture thank you very much